SQA Higher Maths straight line topic, we're going to look at lesson seven. Uh, so far, we've been looking at gradients, perpendicular gradients, collinearity, and using y minus b equals mx minus a to find an equation with straight line. So today, we're going to look at something new called the perpendicular bisector. Well, the word bisect means cut in half. And the word perpendicular, as we should know, means at right angles to. So here the line CD is the perpendicular bisector of AB. So if we draw AB, CD is a perpendicular bisector, so we'll cut it in half, which it has. That's why I put these double dashes on, because it's going right through the middle. And it's also at right angles to AB, so that makes it the perpendicular bisector, not just the bisector. Yeah, if we drew a line, say, from there, or from there, if it wasn't perpendicular, it would just be a bisector. So again, it crosses AB at right angles, and it cuts AB in half at right seconds. So let's have a look at how we're going to find out the equation of a perpendicular bisector, which is just a straight line. So we're just going to do y minus b equals mx minus a. So find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line joining at negative 2, 1, and 4, 5. Right, draw a quick sketch. And when you do that, also put it on the right angle, which I haven't. So here's A, here's B. I want it's gonna the perpendicular bisector cuts A B in half. So I want to know where this point is. And I'm gonna call this point M. M for middle or midpoint. So how we're gonna find out where that is. Well, this is negative two one, this is four five. So I'm starting at negative 2, I'm going along to 4. And I'm just going to be in the middle of that. So I'm writing it down in this format. So I'm here I'm just looking at the x coordinates. Starting at negative 2, ending up at 4. M's in the middle. So what's in the middle of negative, negative 2 and 4? Well, that's a gap of 6. Halfway would be the 3 more than negative 2, or 3 less than 4. So in the middle is 1. For the y coordinates of A and B, we're starting at height of 1. A, when we get to B, we're at height 5. So in the middle of that is 3. So M is going to be 1, 3. So we know this. What else do we need? We also need the gradient. We don't know this gradient just now. We can work out the gradient of AB. This line's perpendicular to it. So work out the gradient of AB and flip it and change your sign to find the perpendicular gradient. So once again, m is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So substitute in, so 5 minus 1 over 4 minus minus 2. Which is 4 sixths, which is 2 thirds. So the gradient of AB is 2 thirds. The gradient of the perpendicular bisector of AB would be perpendicular to two-thirds, so that would be negative three over two. Again, flip, flip the numbers, plus the fraction, change the sign. And this is sometimes where pupils go wrong. They just randomly guess what point they're going to put in. I want the equation of this line. I want a point on this line. Is A on the line here? No. Is B on the line here? No. Is M on the line? Yes, that's why we've worked it out. So we're going to use point M, and we're going to use a perpendicular gradient. Remember, m is 1, 3, so y minus 3 equals negative 3 over 2, bracket x minus 1. Again, like in the last lesson, I don't want to be multiplying out this bracket by fractions. I want to bring the 2 up and turn to everything on this side by 2. So 2 bracket y minus 3 equals negative 3, bracket x minus 1. Remember, minus 3 times minus 1 here is positive 3. So 2y minus 6 equals negative 3x plus 3. And again, to make it look mathematically elegant, I'm going to bring the negative 3x over to make it plus 3x. So what I'm really doing is adding 3x to both sides. Also add 6 to both sides, which brings us over next to the 3 and makes it plus 9. It just, gives, it just makes all the values positive. Again, you could have it as y equals mx plus c. That would be fine. You'd still get the marks. We could write that as 2y plus 3x minus 9 equals 0. Still get the marks for doing that. So if you're looking in the back of the textbook to check your answers, which I strongly encourage you to do, 
just because you've not got what they've got, you try and rearrange yours and see if you can get it into the format they've got. Because you might well be correct. So let's recap what we've done there then. We have to find the perpendicular bisector, we have found the midpoint. So the best thing we need to do is find the midpoint. And write down the coordinates of A and B. Just say right x coordinate going from minus two to four. One is right in the middle of minus two and four. Y coordinate one to five. Three is right in the middle of five. We then find the perpendicular gradient. So find the gradient of AB. Flip the fraction upside down, change the sign. And then we substitute into y minus b equals mx minus a, and that is how to find a perpendicular gradient.